Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of a lesson in Zed Shaw's Learn Python the Hard Way. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go to his text. You can get the text in HTML format for free on the web at learnpythonthehardway.org, which is where I am right now. You can also purchase a downloadable version uh, in PDF or, uh, for a Kindle or for an iPad, as well as get Zed's own videos for this, and I've done that. I highly recommend it. But uh, right now, we're just going to go through the text here. This right here, this little uh, tree diagram, will get you to the table of contents. If you click on that, it'll take you right here. And we're going all the way to the bottom here to Appendix A. We're working on what's called the Command Line Crash Course. And if you click on that, it'll take you to this page. There's that one's index. And right now, we are going to do Exercise 9, which is making empty files. Kind of. I know it sounds like a weird thing to do, but it can be very useful. And the command you use on this depends on whether you're using a Mac slash Linux or a Unix-based machine, or whether you're using a Windows PC. Anyhow, if you click on that one, it's gonna take you right here. It's a very short lesson. What we're gonna do is create an empty file that has no text in it. There are situations where that's gonna be helpful. We'll get to those later. But right now, here's all you need to know. First off, Check where you are. You may remember the last one I made a mistake because I was not in my root directory. I am right now, so that's good. I did PWD print working directory to see where I was. And if I were somewhere else, I could just do CD uh, tilde, or actually I could just do CD and get back to where I need to be. Anyhow, we're going to use the command touch. Now that's because I'm on a Mac and a Mac and Linux uh, are both Unix based systems. If you're on Windows PC, you would use the new-item. See, he says right here, new-item on Windows. That's not what we're, I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna to use touch, besides it's a, it's a cute name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the command touch, and then I'm gonna write in the name of the file that I'm gonna create. I'm gonna create an empty text file using this command right here. Uh, Zed calls it I am cool.txt. Remember, you need that uh, extension, the .txt, so it knows that it's a text file. Now, by the way, come down here, and you see that in my temp folder, there's nothing there, right? Well, as soon as I come up here and I hit return, I should have a text file in there. Except, you know what? I believe I made a mistake. I put it on the wrong folder. You see, it's right here. So actually, I'm going to delete that one right here. I'm going to come back up and I'm going to follow my instructions a little more closely. Zed says to go to the temp directory first. There we go. Now I just bump up to touch I am cool. You see, I'm in a different working directory now. So now there's temp and I can hit, there we go, I am cool text. Now I'm going to do a little quick view here on my Mac and check it out. There's nothing there. It's totally empty. Um, also, you can see the date here. It says it's created, modified, last opened at 8.07. That's what time it is on my computer. Um, let's just do this. Let's do ls to list the files that are within the temp folder. And there's the one item right there. I'm actually going to do something else here. I'm going to do ls, and then I'm going to do a dash l. That's sort of for long report, and it gets a little more information. So if I hit that, Okay, this gets into bytes and stuff, and this has to do with permissions and the name of the file, and this, and how much stuff, and that's me and my folder, and this is when I wrote it, March 6th, and this is the time, 8.07, that's one minute ago, and there's the name of the file. Okay, great, so there it is. I wanna show you, you can do, though, you can do a, a neat thing. Sometimes you want to update the time of the file without modifying the contents of the file. You know, in Word, you have to go in and, like, you know, delete a, a period and then type it back in again. But right here, there's a much easier way. All I got to do is this. I use the same touch command that I used before. And in fact, I'm just going to use my arrow key to go up two of them to touch I am cool dot text. I hit return, and you can't really tell that anything happened. But because it's 808 right now, if I go back up to ls, which is for listing files, and the dash l means give me the long format. You can see it got updated at 808. And in fact, if you come down to the finder, you can see that it got created at 807, but modified and last opened at 808. So there are situations where that can be helpful. And remember, 
Um, if you're on Windows, you're going to be using the new dash item command instead. And that can actually be used to create a directory as well as a uh, text document. Anyhow, that's all there is to that one. Quick and easy. Thanks for watching.